channel, Jamie Fran Colors. If you're new here, we do coloring books and other art stuff. We just enjoy ourselves, relax. And um, today I just needed something easy, something to just kind of relax into. Um, I just got done with the Hannah Carlson um, stuff and I need to go edit some videos and I didn't feel like editing and I didn't, my kids are out of town. They went hunting and I just, I just want to relax. <laughs> I have no desire to really like work. So um, yeah, we're going to take a look at this Caroline Kabowska, Kabakowska's Autumn Memories. I think they are so cute. I did a flip through of this a couple weeks ago. It's so pretty. So I'm going to do some watercolors in them. So I've got a couple of watercolor palettes here. I did spray this one down a little bit. Let's Okay, so with some water, that's not hairspray, that's water. <laughs> okay, so let's just see what we could do in here. Oh, here's like this really Halloween-y one. Let's see. I'm, I'm hoping that this paper holds up well to watercolors. <clears throat> but I don't really know. I'm not a watercolor expert by any means of the imagination. <laughs> if anything, I'm the opposite. I, I don't do too hot with it. So... We have very low expectations, but I think it will be fun. So let's see, what should we start with? I mean, we have this big old pumpkin here, so let's... I want to try gouache. I've never tried gouache. Gouache kind of confuses me, the idea of gouache. So I kind of want to try it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried gouache? Do you like it? What is gouache? Should we find out on this channel? Should I try it out? Probably by the time you answer, I will probably have already broken down and bought some, but who knows? All right. I love acrylic paint and I'm not, I don't know, I don't have the easiest time with watercolor, so I want how I would do with gouache, because isn't it like something kind of in between watercolor and acrylic? I don't know. If it's opaque, it might be fun for backgrounds, but if it's more transparent, like watercolor, it might be fun for subjects. I don't know. So it's the middle of October when I'm filming this. I think it's the end of October when you guys are seeing this. That my husband took my three little boys on their annual hunting trip. I'm I'm fine with it. Something that they like to do, something that I married into, my family has nothing against it, but they're not, they just don't do it as much as my husband's family. I always just tell him like, it's fine, I just want it brought, if you catch something, I just want it like brought back to me in nice packages. <laughs> That's what I want. That's all. I don't want to see it in any other form. I want it in nice packages. So I guess they got a buck deer yesterday, last night. And then my kid's uncle, my husband's brother, got a bull elk this morning. So they're all very excited. I got pictures and phone calls and my three little boys were very excited. <laughs> Though my youngest, he loves animals. He's very tender hearted. We have some issues with him being very aggressive, which is kind of interesting because he's also <laughs> very uh, tender-hearted. He has some anxiety stuff, which um, triggers his ag aggressiveness, but apparently he didn't like seeing the dead animal. He's very sad for it, which I don't blame him. I don't like to see the dead animal either. Just bring it to me when it's all in nice packages. <laughs> So I'm kind of liking this color for a pumpkin. I don't even, these are in like Japanese or Chinese or something, so I can't, no idea 
what color it is. It kind of, let's see, cadmium orange I think is what it is, which is what I would guess it is. Anyways, they're doing that. So I went and had a massage this morning. I was supposed to go yesterday. I had written it down that it was at 11 and I was looking forward to it and I was getting ready to go and the phone rang and they were like, um, your appointment was for nine. I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to reschedule for today, but I did get to go. So I went this morning. And it was so nice. I've been having issues with my left side of my body. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I like slept on it funny. I have issues, like I have arthritis. I've had some injuries in the past. But lately, ugh, that left leg, probably stemming from my hip, and my left shoulder has just been not fun. I'm so sore. Makes it hard for to sit too long or to do anything for too long. Try to walk and stretch it a little bit. But, uh, it's just hard. Okay, so I kind of like that this has some darker spots and some lighter spots. I tried to make that lighter, so that's that's nice. I might go put some pencil over it later, but I'm kind of liking just the simple wash of color. You could zoom in a little bit. I mean, there's no reason for you to see my paint palettes, is there? Let me zoom real quick. Okay. Way cute. Okay, so we'll kind of let that dry and maybe we'll do like the houses maybe. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of liking this peachy color. This is in my Complexions by Prima. I would love some more of these. I like, I think because they're little, they don't feel as intimidating and I don't know. When I use it, I just... I really liked using it. I don't know, feel better about it. I don't know if it's the paint or just the fact that it's smaller and I don't feel so intimidated. Kind of a peachy, just so that it's not too far off. And then we'll put, maybe we'll do this one also, this kind of peachy color. It's called Peach Cobbler, it sounds yummy. And then maybe we'll do another house, the Tiki. Tiki is kind of dark. May have been a mistake. That is opaque. Why are you so opaque? Don't be so opaque. Come on. Sheer out a little bit, would you? My goodness. Here we go. Kind of take a dry brush and try to pick some of it up so it's not quite so opaque. That helped. Sure out a little bit. Oh my goodness. Because I like all of her texture and lines. And I feel like she put so much effort into giving us all that detail and lines that I don't want to take away from it. I just want to add color and kind of enhance it. I don't want to Take away from all of her work. 
That's how I feel on the subject anyways. The paper is buckling a little bit, but I think as soon as it dries, it will be fine. It's quite thick paper, but it is buckling just a little bit. Let's try, since we're using this complexion palette so far for the houses, let's keep going with it. Let's take, let's do Namaste. It's kind of a yellowy brown. I mean, it is a complexion palette, so you've got skin tones. That's what it's for. That's what I use it for in my art journal. To put a wash of skin tone down on my girls that I do in my art journal. Okay. There we go. I like that. That was nice. That was a nice color to add in there. Okay. Let that dry. Let's see, how's our pumpkin doing? He's still a little wet. Too bad. Maybe we'll set him aside and let him dry for a minute. Because I think some of my problem with watercolor is I'm not patient enough. So, he's cute. Mm -mm. This is kind of Halloween with a snake. Let's see here. Okay. So let's let's see. Oh, I don't know what colors those are. They all look the same to me when they're dry, and I don't have a swatch of this palette right here next to me. So I think I'm gonna stick with these for the browns, for the complexion palette, for the browns. I'm gonna take, take Redwood. Let's try that color. That's a nice ready brown. I like that a lot. Nice color. Let's see. Do I want to do all of it that color or maybe I'll pick here. Okay, I got really quiet, sorry. Kind of went into my meditative painting stage. I lose all sense of reality, what's going on around me. <laughs> okay, that's kind of nice. I like that, I like having a little texture at the house. Okay, let's see. This up here. So the other day I was babysitting our neighbor's grandson. He lives with them at the moment. He's so cute. He just turned one. They called me the night before in a complete panic that they had nowhere for him to go. Everybody had to go to work at their house and 
very panicky. So I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll take him. My husband was home for the day and I was like, okay, we'll take him. So <clears throat> anyways, he was so cute and so good. He was so much better than any of my kids have ever been. He was a Adorable. We took him to lunch. <laughs> he was just cute. It was kind of fun to have one that age again. But then it was also nice that he went home and we didn't have to stay up all night with him or anything. So that was nice too. But they also are neighbors. They also have a dog. And he is a very cute dog. I don't remember what he is, but he's he's so cute. He's brown and fluffy and just full of personality. He's so cute. And um he hates to be alone and they've been putting him outside he has to stay home while everybody goes to work and school and <laughs> he doesn't like it he doesn't like to be alone and he's very fluffy so he looks a lot bigger than his bone structure actually is so you think he can't get out or he can't get into a certain space and really he can so <laughs> he keeps getting out of their yard so we went to put the baby in the car so we could go to lunch and here comes their dog just running over and barking he's like oh, i'm here i'm here you have my baby you know and <laughs> he's just so cute and we're like oh my goodness so we put him back in we probably put some garbage cans over where i thought he like got out of the fence like i put the garbage cans in front of it and i let the neighbor i text the neighbor i was like hey your dog got out we put him back uh i'll check on him when we get home so we go to lunch and then we come back and I go over to check on him and he's not there. I was like, ah, where did he go? Oh no. So I'm like, well, maybe he just got in the house or something or maybe he's, I don't know. So this is very opaque as well. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just take the baby on a walk. So we put him in our stroller that we'd have just, I keep from when our kids were little because I use it every once in a while when I'm with a nephew or a, you know, one of the neighbor's kids or something. So I've kept it. So I took him for a walk and we're like all the way across the neighborhood and I see him, see the dog. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm yelling at him, trying to get him to come and he won't come and I'm like, great. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like, he's really not my responsibility. He's not my dog. I don't know. I didn't really want to chase him down. So. I didn't like how opaque that was. Um, so I just kind of, well, just kind of let him go. I told my husband, I like called my husband told him, he is out. My husband was packing the car to go hunting with the kids. And I was like, he is out. If you see him, you know, if he runs past again, grab him. So I'm sitting on the lawn when we get back from our walk with the baby. He's crawling around, checking out the grass and our Halloween decorations and stuff. And here comes the dog <laughs> running past us. And we yelled at him, got his attention, got him to come over. And we stuck him in our yard because we're like, well, he got out of his yard twice. But our yard has like railroad ties all the way along the bottom of our fence. So we're like, we can't, he can't get out. There's just no way. So we put him in our yard. And then I go back to sitting on the lawn with the baby. And I'm sitting there. And all of a sudden, like two minutes later, here's the dog sitting next to me. I was like, how did you get out? You little stink. So, so he just hung out with us the rest of the day. So I had a baby and a dog. And I was just like, okay didn't get anything done that day, but it was fun to play <laughs> house, I guess, with a baby and a dog. We don't have a dog. I have no desire to get a dog, but I'll play with a neighbor's dog. It's, he's kind of fun, but I just don't need any more responsibility with how my kids are right now. They were all at school, so it made it easier because my kids are quite tough with autism and ADHD and anxiety and trauma and they're just tough kids. They're wonderful kids and I love and adore them and I'm happy to have them. You know, for a while there we didn't know if we were going to have kids and it was something we really wanted so I'm very grateful for them but they are tough kids. Like we have people ask us all the time, are we going to adopt more children or 
are we done? Are we going to try again? And I'm just like, if it were to happen naturally, like we would obviously love the child, but the odds of that happening are slim to none. And we, we're not going to pursue adoption or fertility treatments at all. Like we're just, we're good. <laughs> we are good. So we have three boys. That's good. We're from Utah. We, we are, um, belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with some people uh, shortened to LDS and Mormon. But, so we're known for having big families. And so for us to only have three, only three, I mean, I'm one of three in my family. My husband's one of three in his family, but it's kind of, it's more uncommon in our religion to have a smaller size family, so. But that's why we get asked. I think in any other, <laughs> any other uh, culture, we probably wouldn't. But we do. I'm liking these green leaves with that reddish brown house. I think it looks nice. This paper it did peel a little bit. I don't think it's watercolor paper. Paper. It has a bit of a texture to it, and it is thick. But it did peel over here where I messed with it too much. So I'm trying to be more gentle. The rest of it. I think there's a leaf here. It's kind of almost nondescript. Just kind of a. I think we'll add some green there and kind of make it a leaf. Kind of lift some of that color. Anyway, so I did get my massage this morning, which was really helpful. I'm feeling really pretty good. Sometimes after a deep tissue massage like that, you almost feel like worse. <laughs> and then the next day you feel better, you know, but like you're in a lot of pain, kind of everything's kind of um, sore from being moved around, but I really feel pretty good. So which is good. I do get headaches and just... Uh, stupid pain that I wish I didn't have. I've kind of always had and I just, I wish I didn't. It's hard some days. But it is what it is and I don't know any different. I, like I always have a headache. My husband was asking me, you know, if I, because I'll say some days like I have a headache and he's like, well, and I, then I was like, really? I'm like, really? I always have a headache. But when I like mention that I have a headache, it's because it's, it's worse and it's getting into like the area of not being able to function as well as I do on a regular day, you know? Because I always have a little bit of a headache and I don't, I don't know any different really. Like I... Heads and necks are just always supposed to be in pain, right? Like that's just, <laughs> that's just life. <laughs> My husband's like, no, it's not. Well, it kind of is, so. What are you gonna do? Color is this supposed to be? 54. It says 
has olive green. It's just a lot more opaque than I wish it was. It's a beautiful color. I like the color a lot. I just need to probably use more water. But I'm trying not to use too much water because of the, it's not watercolor paper. I'm gonna let it soak in for a minute and then I'll try lifting it. It's kind of worked the best to kind of put it down and then let it seep into the paper and then lift what's left over. Okay, let's put a different color on the rest of the house. Let's see, this is gold. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like how sheer it is. See, you can see everything through it. Very nice. Alright, let's do these flowers. I kind of want to do kind of an orangey, check and make sure my head's not in the shot, kind of an orangey color. Let's see. This is supposed to be like cadmium scarlet and then some orange. Maybe I'll kind of mix those two or put lots of both down. All right, let's see here. We'll put some of this on the inside. This is the scarlet, we'll scribble it on. Maybe I'll do this up too. There we go. I kind of like that. Be a little looser, which I'm not very good at, which is probably one reason why I struggle with watercolors. I need to just loosen up. All right, we'll let that sit there for a second and then I will lift it up. Oh, we have this one too. I forgot him. We'll just do, do a little orange and a little red. Okay. Let's sit for a minute. Whoa, don't ruin it. It's looking so nice. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do the roof. Let's do the roof. Maybe this bear color. It's like a dark, dark brown. A little bit cooler than the Rosewood that we used before. Put that on the door as well. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, a little much. I don't know what this figure is. Maybe we'll make him. The gold color. Whatever it is. I don't know. Okay, now we just have this sneaky snake. What do we want to do with him? Grabbing a little blue. What one is this? 63. I dropped this palette one day and they went everywhere because they're not glued in, which is fine. Cerulean blue is what this is. Um, <laughs> but who knows if I even got them back where they were, so I'm glad they have a number. just do this lightly. I don't want him to be too blue. But a little bit. kind of simple fun little watercolor you could go in with some pencils and sharpen some stuff up or even just like gel pen okay this one's had a minute to dry it has curled up a little bit let's see we need a little green we'll just use that same olive green Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, there's a few more leaves down here. Let's see. These little ones. All right, I think I'm gonna go with my smaller brush. Um, let's see, what else could we do? He's got all these mushrooms. 
Mm, I've got this like really a light blue. What is this? No, it's not. Really? 61. Oh, okay. So it's ultramarine pale. I didn't see the pale first. I was like, that's not ultramarine. It's ultramarine pale. So it's very light. I think it's also going to be rather opaque because it probably has a lot of filler in there to get it such a light color. Yeah, that's quite big. I think I'm about ready to go get any other paper towels. It's just the one that was sitting on my desk from previous projects and it's about spent. It says I'm full. Quit using me. Oh, a couple more. So cute. Love it. Okay, I think I'm going to take that same bare color. Do the roofs on this house as well. I want too much though. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we have like this little mothy guy. I kind of want to do. Mm, I don't know. This color. This color might be wrong, but I'm going to do it anyways. What is this? Malachite. It's kind of a pale teal color. I might add some yellow into there too. Come on, yellow. Okay. I like it. I like it. I kind of feel like we need some splatter or something on him. Um, let's do... Let's try this. This could be... I'm going to try a little black splatter. We'll see, guys. I don't know. This could be... We'll kind of try to keep it up on top. I 
right, I'm lazy today. I don't want to get up and go find anything else. So I'm going to use this pit pen. This is, what color is this? Who knows? Walnut brown. And we'll just see if I can sharpen up some lines on this house. Which may be a mistake, but it may be awesome. Okay, so this is what they've turned out looking like. I really like them. It was fun to just sit and play for a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm so close to a thousand. It's like nerve wracking. And <laughs> I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to relax, enjoy yourself. This is all supposed to be fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.